Hi, this is Nelly Deutsch, and today I'm going to show you a little bit about LTIs and what you can do on the Moodle external tools, such as Screencast-O-Matic, but other external tools as well. I'm on free professional development. I'm going to go into the admin. This is Moodle 3.10.3 with Edweiser Rem UI as its theme, site administration, and then I'm going to go into plugins, which is over here. I can also search for the terms, in this case, external. There we go. We're under activity modules over here. You can manage them from here, but I'm going to simply scroll down until I get to external tool over here. That's what I want. That's what Screencast-O-Matic is under manage tools. I have a few. You can add them. Notice um, you can add a tool, add an LTI advantage. You can also add legacy LTI. You can configure the tool manually. You can manage your pre-configured tools and you can manage your external tool registrations. So let's start with scrolling down and seeing what I have. Notice I've got Flipgrid, Padlet twice. Okay, I need one for each uh, Padlet that I use. Pen, Hypothesis, Screencast-O-Matic I also have twice. You don't need it twice. Padlet I have even more times. You can delete and have only one. Notice I also have Zoom, Learning Designer. I don't know that's why it's spelled that way. Uh, sometimes tech tools have uh, spelling errors on them. Blubber TV, you might want to take a look at these. Can Academy eBooks, some of these actually, most of them come with the Moodle. I've added Educa Play. There's Parent Space Race, Translate Google, YouTube, and I think that's it. So lots of them. And uh, we're going, that's the uh, tool registration that we're going to look at, as I said. The last one here and notice this is what you get uh, you can uh, configure and and then you get pending or accepted so you configure a new external tool re registration some of them uh, cost money others don't you can ask for capabilities services notice that's available too you need to give it a name call it what you like. If you go into these question marks, you'll get information. If you have any questions about any of these things, please let me know. Best ways to create a video tutorial like I am and show me where the problem is. So now let's go back, see what's available here. Blocks editing on, you don't want to do that. Let's go back to external tool. I usually like to go back to site administration so that I get the whole thing. It's a lot easier. And then I go into plugins again into external tool, manage tools, manage pre-configured, manage external, configured tool manually. Okay, tool URL, and then you can add it to advantage. So whatever you add will appear in the list. All right, so let me go back here to activity modules and I'm going to go into the basics. See, as I said, it's confusing this way, which is why I like to go into the site administration and get it at the top. If you manage without that, that's fine, but this is how I like to um, work. And then external tool, I'm going to look at the top here, not manage, but external. And then it takes me to manage tools. You can add a link here. Uh, let me try one of the links that I have. You can get a list of external tools. If you, um, I'll add the link to the comment, to the description under this video, but under LTI, learning tools inter interoperability, which um, is what it's considered. And then you can get a list. Some of these cost money and some, here's the advantage resources, and some are completely free. 
And you can learn more about it by reading all of this information. There's lots of information there uh, and the dates for best practices over here that you might want to take a look at under other categories. Notice there's one at the crossroads that you can read about from April, which is the most recent one, and learn more on how to add them. Let's go back to our Moodle for a few. By the way, you can add Quizlet as well. I see that it's not here right now, but you can add Quizlet. I used to have it. I think I probably um, may have removed it. I didn't remove it. It's gone because Quizlet stopped. All these are active, some since, well, Screencast-O-Matic is twice, uh, which is fine. You can have the same one. Going to notice um, nothing is pending, nothing has been removed. I hope this has been of help. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment box below and subscribe. Have a great day.